Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. This is Bill Burr, Boyfriend Thought We Were In A Polyamorous Relationship. Yikes. So I'm assuming this is from his girlfriend. So we'll go ahead and listen to that. Leave a recommendation down below and I'll give it a look. Let's get into it. polyamorous boyfriend or douchebag oh wait a minute wait i got i forgot to play my jingle here we go here we go come on jingle it's time for advice with your host billy burn and i'm ripping off this melody from somebody else oh i don't really know how to sing <laughs> but it doesn't stop me from trying um <laughs> all right what the fuck that was so let's, ridiculous let's read some of the shit here polyamorous boyfriend or douchebag all right i gotta fucking look i don't even know what polyamorous means that is not at all surprising <laughs> oh my god that's funny i have a uh i have a friend that uh her boyfriend is trying to get her to open the relationship or at least have it open from the beginning and she was just kind of going along with it and she's just she's never been in one she's not liking it and she just brought it up to him like look i'm not into this you know i don't like you mingling with other folks and he schedules an online counseling appointment for people that have been dating for like a month online counseling because he's like all right we need to talk this through. It's like, no, it's either open or closed. It's like A or B. <laughs> There's no like counseling needed for that. <laughs> oh, monogamous. Metamucil. I don't know what these fucking words mean. Polyamorous. Definition. Metamucil. Polyamorous demisexual. Polyamorous characterized by or involved in the practice of engaging in multiple sexual relationships with the consent of all the people involved. Yeah. Or in layman's terms, living the dream. Um, I don't know anyone <laughs> in a polyamorous relationship, but uh, it sounds like a lot of fun if you have the right seatbelt. All right, polyam. Amorous, um, what is a demisexual? Somebody wants to bang to me more. Sex positive demisexual. <laughs> Dude, there are way too many fucking names. I will say that. There are too many names. Can we just stop naming shit and just live our lives? Demisexual. Are demisexuals polyamorous? Dude, this is fucking amazing. My favorite's like a... What's the one where they're like turned on by intelligence and it's like a sexual thing? It's like, does that need a name to it? How about you just like people with smarts? How about that? You know, I was a kid. It was gay and straight. That's it. That was <laughs> right. it. Who knew? There was all these different shades and now they all have fucking names. You right. know, and it's just going to keep going. Yep. You know? Mm hmm. They're going to figure out, they're going to see what kind of porn you're into, and they're going to have all the like, new fucking labels for everything. All right. All right. What, you know, I got to look at what is it? It's to the point where you have to be a psychologist just to understand people's preferences. Demisexual. A demi. You need to know this shit. You can get in fucking trouble by saying the wrong fucking thing. I'm a dumusexual, not demisexual. A demisexual is a person who does not experience <laughs> sexual attraction unless they form a strong emotional connection with someone. Jesus, you mean a, a fucking someone who was raised right? It's more commonly seen in, but by no means confined to romantic relationships. It's a per so you want an emotional connection to bang. And it, it's not confined to a romantic relationship. So you have to get 
to know someone, you have to get to know someone emotionally and be secure in that just to be a fuck buddy. Like what? <laughs> Clearly this is a girl thing. I don't think any guys are demisexual. <laughs> a person who does not experience sexual attraction unless they form a strong emotional. Yeah. <clears throat> that sounds like a fucking well-adjusted person. All right. Well, now I want to know the answer to that. Our demi yeah, for like a main relationship, like an emotional relationship, it makes sense. But for anything other than that, for like just a fling or whatever, what? Sexuals. Monogamous. Oh my God, there's gray asexual? What the fuck is that? Is that like when you're almost... It's like a gray area of asexual. It's like, well, I'm not very sexual, but uh, I mean, I can be convinced. <laughs> like, what Dead? is that? And you, you don't even, it's like a gray area you know, around not it. Not only do you want to fuck anybody, you don't want to live anymore. <laughs> Your fucking skin's all gray. I know it's not that little. Gray asexual. Gray asexual, spelt G-R-A-Y asexual, is a sexual orientation on the asexual spectrum. Everything's a spectrum. Can you imagine the fucking work asexual people must get done? <laughs> Provided they're not jerking <laughs> off all day. I mean, if you're asexual, there's no fucking... You're just not in a relationship. Yeah. You know? No fights. Hey, what do you want to have to dinner tonight? That'd be exactly what the fuck Whatever you I want. want. All right. It's a sexual orientation on the asexual spectrum. Gray asexuals may experience sexual attraction, but very infrequently. That's crazy. That's like, the, you ever see like animals, they like fuck once, one time a year. They're wired like that. Some gray asexual people may not, may only feel sexual attraction once or twice in their life. That's a psychological disorder, right? <laughs> What's like, happening? That's not normal. <laughs> What's oh happening? Oh my god! And then they the just have never given a fuck. Then oh, I, they, is there anything here that gray asexuals opening lines? So it's slightly off. You can't be talked into it. It's just randomly hits like once or twice a year or life. Jesus. Hey, I gotta tell you, I really find you attractive. No, you don't understand. I haven't found any. My I, my dick has not gone up in fucking three decades. <laughs> All right, it's like five, six presidents. Oh, uh, some great sexual people may only find it once and twice in their life. Others may experience it more frequently, but still not as frequently as most allosexual people. Allo sexual? What is that? Oh my God. I mean, this is you know what? This is like types of clouds. Yeah, this is try to get my instrument rating on my pilot's license. And it this is like the genus and the. This is like how you classify animals level of ridiculous. It's just like, it's just like stratus cumulus, nimbo cumulus, stratus lentil lifting fucking. It's just like, Jesus fucking Christ. You know, it's like, it's like the amount of, of M&Ms they have now. Or oh, allosexuals or alloromantic is the opposite of asexual. In other words, so someone who experiences allo? sexual or romantic attraction, the term is not... Does that mean they fuck a lot of people? The term was created by the A-spec community as a way to describe those who are not asexual and slash are not aromantic. Well, what the fuck is aromantic? Jesus Dude. Christ. What, where am I on the internet right now? There are too many communities. We need to break up these communities. Now, you know, I read so many definitions. I don't know what anything is. What am I talking about here? Polyamorous. Yeah, back to... Sorry, it makes me miss the... Easy days of the 90s and early 2000s. The thing, polyamorous boyfriend or douchebag? <clears throat> oh, I can already answer this. Well, it depends if you're fucking banging a bunch of guys and if he's out there banging a bunch of women. All right. Makes sense. Uh, lady, uh, dear Bill, I have a predicament that I'm in and I need your hilarious and brutal, brutal honesty. Oh, you know why? You know why? Come on, play. Ah, fuck. I tried to cue it up. Come on. 
Why want to play? Yeah. Yo. That's me. Me from somebody else. All right, I'm going to stop playing that because it's going to get old real quick. I have a predicament. This must have been the first time you tried it. I'm a 27 year old lady. Prime of your life. Oh yeah. Anybody else get the new fucking Tool album? How great is that, huh? I was like, what? that's my shit right there. I was like, did I, I want to figure that? that song out before I give it and have somebody fucking just look at somebody do a fucking drum drum cover? It's called Invincible. Um, or if you have my drumming ability, it's called Impossible. Thank you. I'll be here all week. All right. Uh, I'm a 27 year old lady, and I've been in a relationship with a 25 year old guy for about eight months now. I'll do this guy is the fucking man. He's banging an older broad, and he talked her into a polyamorous relationship. Well, this guy's the shit. Good for him. He's smart, he's loving, and we spend all of our days off together. Though, there have been a lot of issues along the way that make me unsure about us. When we were three months into our relationship, my boyfriend told me about his ex, who he claims is not an ex, but just someone he casually slept with for four years. Dot, dot, dot. Ellipses, eye roll. He told me he felt bad for her because she was going through a rough time and she lost all of her friends. Oh, so she was getting the uh, consoling cock. I mean, that's the thing. <laughs> you know, you got gray asexuals, you got demisexuals, and then you got uh, consolasexuals. Uh, he asked <laughs> if, if it would be okay for him to meet up with her for a cup of coffee. I said okay, as I trusted him. And he reassured me he felt nothing for her, that he was not attracted to her, and that he just wanted to grab. What's the difference? You're poly. You can have multiple relationships. So why can't he have a relationship with his ex? I don't get that. Some coffee. Oh, Jesus Christ. About a week after that conversation, I called him and he answered, revealing that his ex was in his apartment. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. Now, what you should have done was gone out and get some hot coffee and fucking wow, throw wow. his face there. And the both of them were having beers. After I quickly ended the conversation, he immediately text, texted me asking if he could fuck her or come on her tits. No joke. I answered him, ended the relationship, and stated that we both clearly wanted different things. LOL. Hey, well, He's you know open one thing about, about, about it, this right? guy? He's fucking honest. He was well, I guess he didn't say honest. that she was coming over. He immediately sent her home, he says, and he came over. He was upset and explained. He was upset. Hey, he didn't get to smash. <laughs> I don't get the line there. Is it weird because he was an ex? Like you just have to do it with strangers? But what's the point of being in a polyamorous relationship if you can't pick who you are in a relationship with? Is this real? Are you fucking with me? He was upset and explained that he thought we were in a polyamorous relationship. No, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. This is the way he, he does this shit. This is what I think the kids call gaslighting. Even though I told him that he could not have sex with anyone else when we agreed to be boyfriend slash girlfriend. There was only one conversation about polyamory in which he did say he wanted to be in a polyamorous relationship. But I responded to this by asking him what a poly, po, uh, what polyamory even was, and he said that it meant that maybe we could have a threesome. I am. Oh, 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 I misread this. They weren't in a polyamorous relationship. <laughs> okay. He brought it up once and then just decided to go with it. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, he's in the wrong here. I get, I get her frustration and her ending it. Damn. Answered maybe someday. Yeah, so this guy's a lying piece of shit. But I wasn't yeah, ready for that. He was okay with that. Never shit. mentioned that we could fuck whoever we wanted when we wanted. After much fighting, we end up working through it. <clears throat> he admitted that he was in love with me. Oh, bullshit. He's keeping you in his stable. Fuck this guy. And that polyamory yeah. was not important to him at all. Bullshit. Uh, I don't know this guy, but keeping um, it on the table. I would break up with him. Um, that he would rather be with me 
than with all the ladies in the world. Oh, bullshit. I'm sure he said that to that chick he was having fucking beers with. He agreed not to talk to his ex anymore, and we moved on. That's all bullshit. Since then, we discussed boundaries many times. I've tried to end the relationship a couple more times because of... That was so weirdly specific, too. Like, I'm going to finish on her titas. It's like, what? <laughs> his ignorant, flirtatious behavior. He's not ignorant. He's selfish. Yeah. Um, found out he went out for a drink with a girl from class he's attracted to and found out he's been texting her, though not sexual. This guy just needs to be single is what needs to happen. He just, he needs to be single and just fuck around. Actually, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. How many more red flags do you need? Uh, most recently, I tried to break up with him after he told me he was texting his ex again. Yeah, I, I called that fuck. This girl needs a backbone fast. If you do it once and you break up, go with it. That's your gut. Two paragraphs ago. Every time we fight, I try to end it. He writes me long letters about how much he loves me and would do anything for me. He's full of shit. He just, he's just saying whatever he needs to say to selfishly keep you in his life. It's going to feel fucking great. Tell this guy to go fuck himself. Yep. I don't even know this guy and I hate this guy. He would blame his behavior on his terrible relationship with his mother and his father. He'll do anything but take responsibility. This dude's super manipulative, it sounds. Responsibility for... Then again, this is her point of view. We don't know his point of view, but yeah, he sounds super fucking manipulative. Um, He's preying he on how weak this girl his father, is. who is a womanizer, he begs me to give him time and to tell him what it is and isn't okay, yeah, because he doesn't get it. Well, this is what you should do. You should invite him over one time as you're riding the dick of somebody else and be like, you see this? <laughs> this isn't Okay. If you, you, you see what you're feeling right now, that's how you've been making. That's how you were making me feel. That's fine. Um, he literally wrote out a relationship agreement. My friends don't like him and think he is a controlling. He's controlling slash disrespectful Bingo. towards him. I've never yes. met the guy and I don't like him. Yep. Uh, they say I'm way out of my. Uh, they say I'm way out of his league, and they are shocked that he acts the way he does. Oh, they if you get a girl that's out of your league. Your confidence is going to go up, and that confidence is, confidence is going to go up to a point where you are playing well above your pay grade. <laughs> Clearly, he's dealing with it. It's kind of like the same phenomenon with girls in Tinder, is that there's so many matches that their self-confidence goes up through the roof, so then they decide they want the top 10% of dudes, and it's like, you're not 10% material. <laughs> Say, I'm way out of his league. Oh, okay. I know the answer seems obvious, but I'm deeply in love with him. Yeah, he's, he's, he's fucking the shit out of you is what's happening here. That's what it is. He's a good-looking guy, and this is how he gets away with it, right? That's what it is. I get it. I see. I was wondering why you would stay with this person. I get it now. All right, he's coming over there. You know, he's got the romantic novel hair. You know, he's packing about eight inches. He knows what to do with it, and uh, he keeps sucking you back in. Uh, been telling myself he's just young and naive. I always believe him when he says he'll stop talking to other girls and that he's never young and naive. He's three years younger than you. That's not like 10. What the, this girl is so bamboozled by this dude that he has never cheated on me. As I can see how much he loves me, uh, parentheses as I've read through his text. Yeah. They probably copied and pasted from the other person he sent him to, though it hasn't <laughs> changed how much he That's looks good. at other girls, how much he loves strip clubs. Oh, good Lord. And, and how about cocaine? Can we throw that in there for the trifecta? And the fact that I have to even read through his texts. Please, Bill, am I just blind because I love, or does this relationship just need a lot of work and communication? Longtime fan and listener, best wishes to you, Nia, and your lovely daughter. And of course, go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Done. You know what? Done I bet as I read this out loud, you know, I, I think you know what you need to do. Yeah, fuck this guy. Unfucking real. <laughs> that she needs to dump that guy. It's pretty obvious. I mean, the entire time, it just it kept getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And it's just like, oh, I thought they were already in a polyamorous relationship, and then turns out that dude's just a fucking jackass. <laughs> Wow. She needs to just stick to her guns, go with her gut. Her gut was right. Break up with the dude. Just stick with it. 
don't be afraid to be single. Being single's fine. You're not going to, you know, disappear. It's just more people need to be comfortable with being single because right now the atmosphere, I don't know what's whatever's in the water. People are just less enjoyable nowadays. And it's just, it's slim pickings, honestly. Very slim pickings. All right. Thanks for watching. Man, that one got me. <laughs> Be sure to leave a comment down below with a recommendation. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.